Hi. Oh, we're live. Oh, we're going. I thought I was taking a picture. Okay. <laughs> we always just think people are taking yes. pictures of us. Woo. All right. Hello. Hello. Uh, YouTube and Facebook. And Facebook. We are yes. here by... <laughs> it has taken us a little while yes. to get here, but we are here now. We apologize for... The delay. And maybe we should explain why it took us so long. Mm. Uh, we live in Michigan, as you probably already know. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michigan has been experiencing extremely cold. Well, last week we had extremely cold weather uh, from the polar vortex. That's what they call it. So I don't, do you know what the uh, temperature was in here? Fahrenheit? It got below um, zero degrees, which I think is like minus 20 Celsius. Yeah, it Does really that sound, cold. Does that I don't sound know. Right? <clears throat> we don't use Celsius it, it here was, in the US, even though we should. We should. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it makes a lot more sense. Yep. So when things get that cold, it affects most of life because travel becomes more difficult the roads were almost impassable they uh declared a state of emergency in michigan in michigan so that they said people stay home people had power out mm -hmm. um, it was hard to get out of your house because it was so much snow we we probably had um again we don't use centimeters yeah <laughs> Uh, two feet, which is 24 inches, which is probably... 50, well, times 2.2. 50, 50 centimeters. Yeah. Uh, which is definitely... A lot. a lot. And it continued to fall. So you would shovel it all up and clean it all up. And then uh, a couple hours later, you would have to shovel again. Mm. Hello, oh. Zedon and Lil. Yes, here in... Uberlandia, Brazil. Uberlandia. Uberla Uberlanda. Good to good to hear from you. Yeah. We are excited to have you here. So and, and please tell us what you think of our new time. So for us, it's uh, almost nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, so and in the past, yeah. we've done live sessions in our afternoon, but we were told that it was too late. Some people. Some people. Depending on where in the world mm -hmm. you live. Yes. Um, this is a different time. Yes. Speaking of time in the morning. Yes. I am what is called a morning person. Hmm. Which when my... Sometimes before an alarm even goes off, I get, wake up. <laughs> and this is quite early. Maybe 5:45 this morning. So I have already gone to my local pool. I am learning how to swim. <laughs> so I have <laughs> I I have You already gone to the pool? I sw I swam for about 30 minutes. Oh. Uh there's a steam room there. Sat in there for 5 <laughs> minutes. Got here early. Got some coffee. Got Liz some coffee. And uh, I feel great. I'm calm. Um, because, but at night, I am ready for bed at about nine o'clock at night. So the question is, and maybe by Liz's laughter, you know her answer to this question. Liz, well, are you a morning person or I a night person? I would say that I, I am a little bit of both. So, so you just don't get enough so sleep. This, yeah, maybe. This morning, uh, I have kids and they are they go to school, and so I got the call very early in the morning that there was no school today. So, um, I got the got the call, the text, and then I went back to sleep <laughs> until Adam texted and said, "Are we still doing live?" Yeah, I and had, I, said, I had just. I had just finished swimming and was like, <laughs> let's go. Are we going to do this? Are, so, are, is it still going to work? Here we are. Here then we I, are. then, uh, yeah. 
So you had to still get dressed and get so, yourself ready. So, yep. And... Yep. Okay. Oh, we have Muhammad Frog says, hello from Egypt, my teachers. How are you both? Can you, Liz, say my name? Ooh, did I say it right? Farag. Mu Muhammad Farag. Muhammad Farag. So, Muhammad, tell me if I said that correctly. Yeah. Um, we have some comments from, uh, whoa, lots on YouTube. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Hi from Algeria. Hello from Indonesia. Uh, hi, yeah. everyone from Vietnam. Yen Le. Li. Uh, hello, Liz and Adam. So, thank you. Um, and, uh, okay, so tell us in, in the comments if you are a morning person or a night, uh, person. night person. So, do you like getting up in the morning, getting all of your stuff done, your exercise done? Or you could say, are you an Adam? Or, or a, a list. list. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, yes. But here we are. And I got to say, for uh, the person who is not necessarily a morning person, this is the coffee. It's not Starbucks in here. It's just a Starbucks cup. So this is the coffee that a non-morning person needs. It is. Now, here's another question. I despise. Not despise. That is too strong a word. I do not like... <laughs> cold coffee oh i like hot coffee again are you an adam or a Liz? are you an adam do you like to get up early and drink hot coffee or do you like to sleep in late and drink cold coffee <laughs> do you like a clean shaven head or <laughs> or long lots hair? of flowing hair flowing hair um uh, marcus says greetings from ecuador wallace says uh i like you liz i am both See, I think there's there's room for there is. Some, some. We can find agreement here. We, we don't. We say that's wiggle room. Wiggle room. It's it's you can have a little bit of some and a little bit of other, so it's wiggle room. Because this don't is do wiggle. That. I'm wiggling. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> um, Neutron Nian Hue says I am a morning person and I like going jogging every morning. Nice. I think that's the same thing you used to do when I, it's I warm will, enough. Yes. I am learning how to swim. I know how to swim, mm -hmm. but I wasn't very good at it. And I wanted to do a triathlon, which involves swimming, running, and biking. And I was not very good at swimming. So I'm learning. And I am feeling probably like some of our English learning students do. Like, I have no idea how to do it. I don't, I see small improvements, mm -hmm. but it's really hard. It's been a long time since I've done something that I'm really not good at, but um, yeah. I'm slowly getting better. Learn a new skill. Learning a new skill is hard. Um, on Facebook, uh, Van Sai Chnit says, I like hot coffee too. So there's mm -hmm. an Adam. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, we have a hello from Mexico as well. Hola. See, I drop in some Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> that was very good. Mm -hmm. Como estas? Um, um, Como estas? Um, um, we have a couple other things to talk about, but we are getting, ooh, we are getting a lot of comments. Um, yes. I just wanted to tell you that if you have not already noticed, you can now get Spotlight merchandise. Yes. We are trying to see if you, uh, are interested in we're just just rolling it out brand new you can get uh spotlight t-shirts spotlight cell phone case there are some other things on there we'll put the um you can either buy it through facebook or if i'll give you a, if you go t directly to the store it's actually a little cheaper so you can buy things through facebook or you can go to the spotlight store um which we'll put some links to uh, and buy mm -hmm. some stuff, but we want to hear what, if you go there and you're like, oh, I'd rather, like, there's a, there's no hoodie, there's no, uh, yeah. if there's, if there's something that a you don't see, or... a jacket or something that you think, oh, I would buy this or, um, pens or, I don't know, what do you want? We don't, we don't know. We're just yeah. trying this. Uh, it's one way you could, you can help support Spotlight, um, mm -hmm. and, 
uh, let and us know. share spotlight. So yeah. right, if you're wearing this uh, Vietnam love spotlight shirt, or if you're wearing, I was um, hoping I there I have a couple ordered, and I was hoping we could be wearing them. So maybe at the next the next live you'll see, uh, or when they arrive, I'll take some pictures and put them on. Yeah, uh, that I'll would tell be you fun. about them. Um, so yeah, um, if you're wearing one of these shirts mm -hmm. and somebody says, well, what is that shirt about? You can share Spotlight, so. Yeah, tell them mm -hmm. about your English learning journey. Tell them why you're learning English. Tell them what Spotlight mm -hmm. has, has how it helps you. Um, we really do rely on word of mouth, yeah. a little idiom. Yeah, there's a nice. Word of mouth, meaning <clears throat> people telling other people about spotlight we don't have a a lot of big we're not spending a lot of dollars to let people know about spotlight right um we just we we have like we always say we have the the best listeners and the best students yeah we do. um and we really love it when you share uh posts that you like on social media or just tell people tell somebody you know personally that's the best thing you can really do yeah and a t-shirt just makes that easier <laughs> so we have a couple comments here. Uh, do you have Facebook or WhatsApp, Liz? Um, we have a Spotlight Facebook. So if you search for Spotlight Radio or if you go to facebook.com slash Spotlight Radio, you can find our Facebook address there. And uh, on Facebook, if you would like to go to our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. you can go to youtube.com slash Spotlight English One. So I know it's a little hard to to follow but um yeah you can see all of our new videos and yep. i do think uh we talked about our new mm -hmm. merch which is a silly word yep. um but we also have a new program yes so we are that we have been working and on that is that on for YouTube. a long time you will have to go to youtube to get that right yes that is true you can go to our website and um link to YouTube to get there. So if you can't find right. our YouTube channel, go to our website and if there is a Spotlight Advanced program. Spotlight, I feel like we should have yeah, like a Spotlight Advanced. advanced. Like Star Wipe. Um, so then, Liz, yes. what is Spotlight Advanced? Well, Adam, let me tell you. Um, Spotlight Advanced uses the same materials as our regular Spotlight program, except that when we speak in spotlight, we speak very slowly so that you can understand. But in Spotlight Advanced, we speak a little faster, maybe more like Adam and I are speaking right now. Right. So not quite as fast as um as if we a were just in typical a English coffee shop, speaker. just blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like we might talk like this and we would totally talk like this yeah. and um faster. Um, but the, <clears throat> excuse me, the sound of the English will be more natural in the Spotlight Advanced Program. So yes. it will still be simpler sentences and it will still be the same vocabulary, but you can, you can teach your ear to practice mm -hmm. listening to connected words and faster phrases and things like that. So, so who, who <clears throat> would, who should, who do you think should try Spotlight Advanced? Good question. I think that anyone who has maybe listened to Spotlight for a couple years, um, and you've, um, and you've kind of you you can get every bit of the program already, and you just need one more step up. But but ad advanced English is too much. Right. Um, that would be a good step for you. So we kind of think of it as Spotlight is a good practice program like about half speed as, mm -hmm. what would we call that? Typical English? No, conversational, no, conversational English. Conversational English. And so conversational English is over here and Spotlight is over here and Spotlight Advanced is right here in the middle. Yeah. So it, you'll hear the sounds together, but you won't have to think mm -hmm. about like, they're using words that I don't know and so fast. Right. But this will be like a second, like it'll be a step right in the middle. And one of the things that I'm excited <clears throat> about for Spotlight Advances, you might be watching us and think, you know what, they're way far away, they don't listen to my comment, they're not oh, going to do. do this. But this program is, we've heard, we, you know, 
We heard many people say... Because you, of listeners. Because of listeners, they kept saying, could you go a little faster? Could you go a little faster? We tried to figure it out. Mm. We thought, oh, okay. And this has been... And this program is exactly because listeners like you asked mm-hmm. for it. And so we're... Yeah. Tr- we, Wa- we do respond to the, the needs. Wallace has a good question about Spotlight Advanced. So we will keep our Spotlight program... As it is, yes. Spotlight itself is not affected. Nope. Um, but Wallace asks, Spotlight Advanced will have the same subject as normal Spotlight. Yes, yeah. actually it will. And what you could do, because um, mm-hmm. it will be the exact same words. I think I know where you're going you with this. You can follow along with the script. Um, it will just be faster. It will have the same music, the same sound effects. So what you could do is if you think... Um, I'm going to try the advanced program and mm-hmm. you try that and it's too fast. Go back and listen right. to the normal spotlight program and then try the advanced again. Mm-hmm. And you may be able to uh, catch what parts you need to practice more. Right. Um, and I will say there's not a spotlight advanced for every program. It's only for the first program of the week. Right. Except, um, there will be there will be one spotlight advanced program every week but so you're... you have to subscribe right and to you YouTube can subscribe to youtube to make, sure you don't... to make sure that you get those every week but there may also be two programs some weeks or even three programs some weeks so there's always one say... spotlight advanced program and there may be more yeah so, so which may- I think is so exciting. Yeah. So uh, it's, you know, it's different every week. Yeah. We are very excited about um, some of the opportunities that are coming or. Oh, uh, sorry. One yeah. more question. Um, th- there's a question. So that program will be in a new channel. No, it will be in a playlist on our channel. So if right. you look for um, Spotlight Advanced Programs Playlist on our YouTube channel, that's where you'll find everything. Or on our website, and it will link directly there. Mm -hmm. We are in, Spotlight Advanced is part of uh, an overall effort that I would say for us to think about how we're using YouTube and video. For all of you on Facebook, we love you, uh, and we're still gonna be on Facebook, Mm -hmm. but we there's a lot of people on YouTube who are at who are watching our videos, our program videos, our spotlight advanced videos. And really we're we're kind of in the early stages of thinking about what other videos uh to offer. We're we're gonna try to start yeah. slowly, but we really in, in this year wanna have some more original content. And even some yeah. people in the in the comments are asking for more videos. More videos. Um, um, I think we should pause a second and do some shout outs. And uh, yes. there are so many uh, like wonderful things. Okay, so, hi, my name is Edwin Felice from Dominican Republic. Hi. Hello. Um, we've got, I'm from South Korea. I'm G from Taiwan. Um, I'm from Brazil. My name is Jorge Los. Uh, and uh, Jorge also said, where was this? I'm trying to listen to four podcasts every day. I started last one month ago. That is impressive. So, uh, yeah, impressive I, would be, I am impressed. Spotlight as a podcast. I, uh, I think so. Or sometimes people call it a podcast. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you want to do shout outs from yes. Facebook? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, from Japan, Kaori, Wakamatsu, 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 Wakamatsu. Hello. From Japan. From Japan, Mary Rose from the Philippines. Oh, here we go. Nesk, Neskzan. Hello. Um. My name is Victoria. I live in Iraq. Oh, Wallace says someone here from Brazil. <laughs> I'll bet of, there are lots of people. I bet people. there are a lot of people. What time from is it in Brazil? And what time is I think it's it the in same Vietnam? Time. Same time no. in Brazil. Brazil is Brazil is different. Could be time earlier. Zones. I think it's three hours off. Brazil. I've been to Brazil. 
I and oh, it's know. twelve o'clock in Brazil. I told you three hours. Um, mm. Oh, see all of these nice Brazilian people telling us what time it is. Twelve p.m. Yes, twelve time. p.m. in Brazil. Yes. Um, okay, so here's a question. Um, you guys use many accents. Why not use only one accent, like American Ooh. for who, people who want to learn it, and British for those mm -hmm. who want British? Um, that is a good it's question. A good question. We have, um, well, Spotlight is made by a group of people all over the world. So yes. Adam and I live not in the same city, but we do both live in Michigan. Mm -hmm. And, um, but other people live in the United Kingdom, in uh, New Zealand, mm -hmm. uh, some people live in Texas, um, and so we really are an international program, mm -hmm. and we like that fact that people right. can hear both accents and not just train your ear for just UK English, which mm -hmm. is sometimes even difficult for me to understand because it's not what I hear normally. Right. Um, and so you get the chance to train your ear mm -hmm. to listen to both types of accents. So, but that's a good and, question. And even in the UK or in the United States, there are different accents to, to, to even say there's American English, you know, you, you've got different regional dialects. Yeah, y'all. We yes. could be talking like in the South. We could. <laughs> we that won't. is not my accent. We won't. <laughs> I can't could. do like a Boston accent. Boston. I could like maybe do Boston. California. California would be like okay, but not really good. In can Canada, you know. Canada, e. Canada. The we're we're being inappropriate. <laughs> Generally, uh, in that you know when we're doing a uh, in a spotlight program, if there's someone from another country, we don't do accents of we don't try no. to duplicate accents um because it doesn't we don't do it anyway. well <laughs> we, <Some> none, us do. <laughs> we shouldn't we shouldn't we don't do it well all right adam i think it's time for a game okay all right uh I'm this ready. is a game i like to oh somebody says i don't agree liz oh okay so in speaking but when we talk about reading which means we read by standard accent it's true but yeah. Um, I would say to that, that Spotlight just, it has to be just what it is. Um, we don't have a big enough American team to make all American programs, and we don't have a big oh. enough British team to make all British programs. So, yeah. we do do what we can, but, um, oh, okay, so one last question before we play our game. Okay, uh, Wallace says, last question, when will you start releasing the Spotlight Advanced Program? We released it last week. Now. Last week. They are available so now. So they are available now. We have three programs already. The first one was Nick Vujicic, No Arms mm -hmm. or Legs. The second one was Mozart, Child of Music. Mm -hmm. And the third one is The Internet's Secret Job. So mm -hmm. if you want to learn about um, uh, overcoming obstacles, if you want to learn about one of the greatest musical uh composers in the west and if you want to um learn about content moderators who keep our internet safer yeah uh there are things for you so uh how, how a would link people know it's a um you can advanced. go you can go to our if you're on this page watching our youtube uh live session just go to our playlists so, um, or if Adam can uh, spend some time, one second, I will post a link in. Say oh, something funny, say something? Adam. Say something funny. Well, I think the last time I was, it's not going to be funny, but last time I was on here, <laughs> I had a more of a beard. Oh, that's right. And you did have a beard. here's the reason it was cold, it was snowy, and I knew I was going to get rid of the beard when it started to warm up. So I thought to myself, maybe if I get rid of the beard and shave, it will warm up. It hasn't, but it was my protest. There are things we do when the weather is cold to just kind of say no more. I'm I'm I refuse for it to be winter any longer, and that was one of them. 
Oh, Hope says, hi, we study your videos in school. How cool. Wonderful. That's awesome. Okay, right. so we're going to call this game Use a Word in a Sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Worst name ever. Word, word sentence. Sen sentence word. 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 No, sentence word. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I'm going to come up. I'm going to, this is the dictionary. This is. Uh, so you're going to give me a hard word or a word? Mm, we'll see. This is Webster's Dictionary, and I, it's I not thought, yours? <laughs> no, it's what uh, I there's a joke. That's a joke. Well, let's say it's a joke, which means uh, okay. So, um, we thought since we always ask you to use a word in a sentence in mm -hmm. our word of the days, that it would be fair for uh, mm. us to make each other use a okay. word in a sentence. So we're doing it too. Okay. So, um, ooh, here's a good one. Lounge. Lounge. So, lounge. Could be a noun or a verb. Yep. Yep. I, I will use a sentence that uses both. Mm hmm I love to lounge in the lounge. That wasn't... Uh, I mean, that was a good sentence. Why but, is that not a good sentence? <laughs> it just doesn't really define the word lounge. But you that was very me, good. You tell me to lounge. That was very good. Okay, so a lounge, uh, so a, to lounge would be to, it says to pass time indolently, to recline indolently. So I you're lounging. Indolent. That's very nice. Nice lounging. Lounge. Here, I'll write it in the, in the. Lounge. Yes, it's a very, it's a very, here, write it in the comments. Um, okay, and then a lounge can be a room where people um just wait for something or um that they just sit and yeah do whatever they want so you could sort of like a lobby in a lounge or, or you a... could wait for a friend in a lounge yeah but it's not the same as a waiting room right kind of i always think of it as hotels like the area that's a little nicer uh, in a hotel lobby that you kind of wait for someone maybe have something to drink or eat right um, okay, so uh, why don't you find a word for me? Oh, yes, me? yes, 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 yes. I should write this definition in here. Lounge, uh, a noun, a room to sit in, verb, um, verb to sit um, comfortably. There. Yes, all, oh, Khalil has one. All the family were sitting in the lounge watching television. Hey, beautiful! Good job. Great job. All right, I've got a. I've, this okay. is this is a difficult one. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Tandem. Tandem. Okay, so I know the word tandem mostly from a tandem bicycle. Yes. In which you have a bicycle and it has two spots. And so the person in front is cycling, but the person in back is also cycling. So I actually, I'm going to kind of guess at the mm -hmm. definition mm -hmm. of this word. And I think tandem means to go at the same time. So if Adam is making a program and I am making a program, we are working in tandem. Yeah, that's, that's, Does that that's work? pretty good. It says one. Okay, so so Adam and I oh, you're using worked in tandem to make spotlight programs. Ooh, tandem. I like that. I, I think I like that word. Uh, the good. definition that has here is one following or behind the other, a bicycle for two persons, one behind the other. Yeah. So there 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 does seem to be a doing something at the same time. Mm -hmm. But one before the other. Right. So there, okay. So it wouldn't be side by side. Right. So I should have just stuck with the bicycle. Stuck, I, according to this, yeah. <laughs> you, you, were, you were doing really well. Oh, that was a fun game. That was good. Yeah. There are obviously a lot of words in English. And yeah. um, we don't know. I don't even know. I probably know a small amount of oh, the, yeah, the full words. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Well, I wasn't really familiar with the word tandem. No. 
And I know a lot of words. <laughs> I'm sure joking. you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> we used, okay, so Wallace asks, which dictionary did we use? We used Random House Webster's Dictionary, and that's just one that I had laying around. Webster's It's not a, a special popular, dictionary. No. It's just a, oh, here we go. This director and composer have worked in tandem on several films. Ooh. Great Very sentence. Nice. Do we have any sentences here? Oh, you have new. You have twenty four new comments, Adam. I am. Run the Facebook. Dropping the ball, as they say. Yes. Uh, You're just all full of idioms today. I know. Paolo Where from Sicilia, live? from Dominican Republic. We've got Noel. Greetings from Brazil. It's a lot of people. Yeah. From Brazil here. Chris Kelly. Oh, what about Canadian accent? So I have uh, an interesting thing about Germany? that. Germany. Hello. Oh yeah, Johanna. Johanna. Um. So, uh, about Canada, okay. there is one voicer we have who is from Canada, mm. but she has lived in the United States so long that now she calls her accent only certain uh, words. It comes out. Yes, uh, she calls her accent a, an American or American English accent now, and that is uh, Christy Van Aragon. Yes, she was born in Canada, and sometimes she says things like. Adult Product. instead of adult, which we say. Re or resources. Resources instead of resources. Yes. The Z-S yeah. sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't say about. About. Yeah. That's just, yeah. That, that's just Northern Canada E. Yeah. I would, I would say. <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> if you're, if you're, lis if you're a spotlight listener <laughs> and you're worried about your accent. As a, and you, you're going to travel somewhere, mm -hmm. don't worry about your accent. Mm -mm. If you, if you're speaking with an accent or you learn a certain word pronounced a certain way, I, I, I just don't think it's going to be a big problem. Mm -hmm. um, I think most people are, will just be impressed that yeah. you're, they, you know, English. Mm -hmm. And um, I, if, if that's stopping you, <laughs> I wouldn't spend too much time looking at that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I think this is our longest. Um, it is. Facebook are probably because we didn't live plan. ever. <laughs> we didn't. We had a lot of stuff to we share. Did. Remember, there's the merchandise. Yes. There is. Um, what else do we talk about? Oh yeah, Spotlight Advance. Morning person, which is a new program. Spotlight Advance is a big deal. Uh, we talked about being a morning person or an evening person or a yeah. hot coffee person or a cold coffee person or a no coffee person. Ooh. We didn't talk about that, but there are. Let's people not talk about those who exist. People. Um, and yeah, yeah. and we played play a, a game. game. Well, please. I think that's good. What here's what we need from you. Yes. We would love for you to go check out the merch store, check out Spotlight Advanced, but also give us a comment about what you want to see now. So yeah. we, we're doing Spotlight Advanced. Let us mm -hmm. know. Um, listen to it. Give us some comments. Yep. Hey, this worked. It was still too fast. Mm -hmm. Share it with somebody. Um, but then what do you want to see as far as videos yeah. or other kinds of programs? Did you like our game? Did you like our game? Do you want more games? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what times work better? I mean, I know we've we've asked you to do a thousand things now, but um... okay. And we have we have. Let's do one last question okay. before we leave. And this question is from Victor, um, and uh, says, "Please, can I know where are you come from?" Um. So I actually come from Michigan. Mm -hmm. So this is home for me. Yep. I've uh, actually I've I've done a lot of traveling. Uh, to places all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, however, I have never been to Africa. I have never but, been. But, um, I've traveled time. a lot, but I am from Michigan, and this is where I've lived my whole life. I live in Michigan as well, but I have not always lived here. I was born near Chicago, near the city of Chicago. And when I was very young, we moved to Michigan. So Michigan has been my home state. Where you grew up. Um, for a long time. All right. And now this is home. Well, thank you so much, everyone. It's so, so nice to yeah. like 
interact with you and I wish that we could have a big party where yeah. everyone could just be there. Um, that would be so fun. But this I think this is, is the next got. best thing. I love hearing from mm -hmm. all of you where you're from and how we're just such a big community yep. all around the world. And I think that is so cool. We don't know when we'll do our next live. Liz has some travel. I have some travel coming up. Mm -hmm. Um, well, wait, I think we have it scheduled, Adam. We Let know me consult. We know exactly when we're going to do our next Let Spotlight Live. Let me consult live my schedule. Because we considered our travel schedules, and yeah. we decided it to is, do one. It um, is... March? <laughs> oh, March 20. 20. Wednesday, 20. March 20, um, March. except two and a half, three and a half? Hours later It'll than be this. Later. So it will be at eleven AM Eastern time. Yes. Um, so right now it's nine o'clock Eastern time. So if that helps you plan, put it on your calendar. Mm -hmm. Um, tell us what you want to see. If you buy a shirt or something like that, yes. please send us a picture and we will find we, a way to share it with everyone. That would be so cool. I we would, would love, love that. It. That would be great. And yeah. We will have sh we will have <clears throat> yes we will and be wearing will shirts shirts yes. at that time and some of the possibilities yes so um do that all right have a great. great day and um yeah be well thank you thank you all right now we need to look really silly well.